Okay, welcome back to our class. So for today, we're going to start a new chapter. Okay, chapter two, separation techniques. Okay, um, I know that you have been studying with your type science type teacher about separation techniques as well. Okay, so let's look at the first page. It's your on your student book as well, page uh twenty six. Okay, separation techniques. So. In this one, the boy is worried because he said, Oh no, I dropped some of my copper coins into the pail. Okay, if you're going to look uh, on the book, he dropped his copper coins in the pail. Okay, and then the girl said, Don't worry, we can help you pick the coins out from the sand and the stones. Okay, and then this boy is thinking, is there a faster way to separate the coins from the sand and stones, okay? Because if you're going to pick one by one, it might take longer time. So he was thinking, maybe he can use this one. Do you know what is this in the picture? It's a metal detector, right? Okay, uh, so for today, we're going to study about... um. Why do we separate mixtures? And uh, we introduced the lesson about how do we separate solids, okay? But before this, uh, before we continue on our lesson, I want to show you vocabulary words that you have to understand in this lesson, okay? Okay, so these are the vocabulary words that we have to know about separation techniques, okay? Um. These are the vocabulary, the Thai words, okay? But if it's not exactly what it meant, because you know when you're studying it with the Thai teacher, right? So uh, you can maybe, because it's from the Google Translate, I'm not really sure, okay? So uh, the first word is separation, and then technique, and then mixture, pure substance, or properties, solid, sifting, sieve, hand picking, sublimation, magnet attraction, alloy, and electromagnet. So this vocabulary words, this is only for the first two lessons. Why do we separate mixtures and uh, separate separation of solids, okay? Separate, so how do we separate solids, okay? Uh, one more time separation technique mixture pure substance or properties solid sifting sieve hand picking sublimation magnet attraction alloy and electromagnet okay uh, be familiar with these words we're going to study about this vocabulary for the next um this week and next week okay okay so uh our first lesson is why do we separate mixtures okay but before we move on to why do we separate mixtures i want you to understand what is it what what is the difference between a pure substance and a mixture okay pure substance and a mixture so when you say uh, pure substance there's only one substance one element or a compound in it so examples of pure substance is oxygen okay so there's only oxygen in that one uh, or water water is a compound okay if you know the fo uh, chemical formula of water it has hydrogen and oxygen but it's a compound that is pure Okay, so if you put salt in water and you mix, you dissolve, you dissolve the salt in water, then it becomes a mixture. Okay, mixture made up of different substances mixed together, okay, or joined together. Okay, now um, in here, since ancient times, humans have found it important to separate what they need from what they do not need okay so we separate mixtures because um humans think that uh, they can separate they can get what they need and then they can put back what they don't need okay so for example metal ore okay metal ore. this is an example of an ore okay it's a rock 
uh, metal ore that is processed. Uh, metal ores are processed to separate metals from other substances in the ores. Okay, uh, so gold and other substances that are found in rocks, uh, they are in between these ones. I'll show you the meaning of an ore. Okay, an ore is a rocks from which metals are extracted okay we are going to study about rocks maybe in second semester okay so uh, we will go back to this one okay and then we can also separate uh, also use separation methods to remove harmful substances from water uh, since we need water water is important to us but in nature uh, what the water in the river are not clean okay They're, it's not clean so we have to process the water to separate the harmful uh, substances in it so that we can drink them okay we can drink the water and this one some water jug contains filter in here there's a filter to remove contaminants in the water. So there are many reasons why we need to learn about separation techniques. In our everyday life, we use separation techniques. Okay, so we just need to understand what are these techniques. Okay, for today, we're going to start about how do we separate solids okay but before we study about how do we separate solids it it says in here there are different ways to separate mixtures to choose a suitable separation method we need to consider properties of substances in the mixture okay this one this word is very important properties okay it's in the vocabulary word that, that i've shown you okay so we need to understand the properties of the substance. So for example, okay, um, if I mix salt and water, okay, the water will dissolve, uh, the salt will dissolve in water, okay? You cannot see the salt in the water anymore, right? So if you mix those two, salt and water, how are you going to separate the salt again? Can you pick up the salt from there can you use your hand to separate no you cannot right so you have to know the properties in here in this picture uh, if you want to separate the stones or the rocks from the sand it's easy you can just pick up right but if it's a lot then it will, might take a long time so what are the different techniques okay uh, that we can do to separate mixtures okay so the first one is how do we separate solids okay in proton 5 we already studied about solids i hope you understand so mixtures can contain solid particles of different sizes now um we can differentiate now if there are solids the sand and the rocks they are of different size right so you can differentiate then you can use your hand to pick up this technique is called hand picking okay so you can just pick out when you are eating uh when you are eating mixed nuts and you don't like raisins or you don't like cashew nuts so you can just pick out okay that's easy this one is a, a technique that we use in our everyday life hand picking you just remove what you don't like or you just get what you want okay so but is there a faster way on how are we going to separate this one how are we going to separate the sand from the rocks easier faster than just picking one by one okay if you have one one big drum one big uh uh basin like this one it's gonna take a long time okay so let's go back to this later so this technique is called sifting okay sifting so sifting involves passing a mixture through a sieve okay a sieve traps large solids while allowing smaller solids to pass through okay this one this is called a sieve okay the sieve uh it has 
holes okay it has holes on it so the larger the the bigger solids will be left on top and the smaller solids will pass through the sieve okay so in this one you can separate solids of different sizes using sifting okay by sifting you can separate solids of different sizes okay solids of different particle sizes okay so this is another example of sifting okay in construction they use this one construction when when they want to separate the big uh, bigger particles from the finer particles of sand okay i think you have seen this one okay so for today we're just going to study about two techniques again okay? then tomorrow another uh, two uh, two other techniques about separating solids so for uh, let's go back uh Okay, let's go back. This technique is called hand picking. Okay, you use hand picking if you want to separate solids of different sizes with different colors. It's easy. You can just, for example, you have a mixture. You accidentally mix green beans and black beans. Okay, so you can separate, you can pick out the black beans from the green beans because they are, are both solids and they are of different colors so you can use hand picking if the solids are of different size or different colors okay and then sifting if they are of different sizes okay so if one uh, one uh, the other size can pass through the sieve and the other one will be left in the sieve okay so for today, this is your activity, okay? You answer your student book, page 28. I know it's an experiment, it's an activity, but you don't have to actually do it, okay? You just imagine what will happen, okay? What will happen? So, if you have a kitchen sieve, a big bowl, spoonful of sand, small bowl, uh, rocks, and water, okay? And then it says here, which substances in the mixture of small rock, sand, and water will pass through the sieve? Predict based on the size of the holes of the sieve, okay? So if you have a sieve and you mix, mix them the rocks, sand, and water, okay? I, you are already in Patum 6. You can imagine what will happen. So what, uh, what are the particles that will pass through the sieve, okay? Okay, imagine what will pass through the seed if you have rock, sand, and water. Okay, and then in a small box, mix sand, rocks, and water. So number two, you don't have to answer. You don't have to do anything. And then for number three, place the sieve over a big bowl and pour the mixture through the sieve. Gently shake the sieve when necessary. Okay, so you have a mixture of sand, rocks, okay, and then you put over the sieve and then which substances in the mixture pass through the sieve and which substances in the mixture was trapped in the sieve so i hope you understand the activity no need to do it no need to actually do the experiment but if you want if you have free time then you can do it at home you can have fun um but imagine what what are what will happen okay and then answer so you just have to answer number one letter a and letter b okay bye